Hello, what we're going to do today for you is give you some exercises that are geared towards our Pilates. We've got one of our instructors who's going to go through five key exercises that will help with your hip strength, your core strength, your shoulder strength, and keep you in really good shape. We don't all need to be doing jumping around the whole time, so it's nice to have some exercises that really focus on the muscles and the movement element of what we're doing. So we've got one of our Pilates instructors uh, is going to take you through five key exercises. Uh, we would suggest you do eight to ten repetitions of each one. If there's a hold, hold for a count of three seconds. Uh, and I would suggest you work through that little five exercise circuit three or four times to create a really nice workout for you. Uh, today is the beginner session. We've got an intermediate and then a more advanced uh, for those that want to push themselves and can still control their movement. Uh, they, can, they can do that one when it comes out. Thank you. Enjoy. So our first exercise is scissors level one to work on a little bit of core control. So you're going to start lying on your back with your knees bent up and feet flat on the floor. And then you can do a couple of pelvic tilts first of all. So completely arch your back up, then completely flatten the back down. Find that little halfway point between those two movements. And then you're going to want to engage your tummy muscles. So think of your belly button sinking down into the mat. And then keep everything nice and controlled through here. And you breathe in, you're going to bring one leg up. Good, and just bring it to 90, just above your hip, and then really nice and slowly coming back down. And then swap over to the other side. And then again, slowly back down. And then repeat that, the first leg up again, keeping nice and controlled through your tummy muscles, not letting that lower back arch up or round out as you do. And then you can repeat that. Our second exercise is going to be a little bit more focused on our glutes. We're going to go into shoulder bridge level one. So like the first exercise, we can do a few little pelvic tilts. And then this time you're going to completely flatten your lower back against the mat. And then you're going to squeeze your bone muscles really, really tight. And then push up nice and slowly through your heels, starting with the tailbone and going up bone by bone. And then you're going to come back down nice and slowly again, like our roll downs in Pilates. Coming back down really nice and slowly until your bum is back down on the floor and relaxing and then you can go again so do your little tuck first of all squeeze your glutes and then lifting up really nice and slowly good and then really slowly coming back down getting vertebrae by vertebrae back down onto the mat okay so our next exercise is over in side line we're going to target the glutes again so we're going to target the one on top and it's our clam level one so we've a soft little bend in our hip and our knees. Knees and feet are stacked on top of each other. Hips are a little bit pushed forward. And then again, you can do your few little pelvic tilts in this position as well, just to make sure you find that neutral first of all. And then hold here. And then keep your feet together and you're gonna lift this top knee up, squeezing your glutes together as you go up. Good. Little pause at the top just for a couple of seconds and then really nice and slowly coming back down. And the main thing you want to do if you bring your knee up again, you want to make sure that your hips don't roll back, that they're always slightly forward so you're really engaging that glute and then relaxing back down. Okay, so this time we're going back to do a little bit more core work. So we're going to do our four point knee on hover. So you're going to make sure that your knees are directly below your hips and your hands are directly below your shoulders. Again, we find our neutral spine. Just a little arch up, round the back out, find that midpoint, and then you're going to engage through your tummy muscles, so you think like you're lifting the belly button up towards the ceiling. Make sure your toes are tucked underneath, press nice and firmly down through the palm of your hands and raise the knees up, and you can hold there, and then coming back down, and then relax. So again, we're going to find our neutral position in our lower back and then we're going to engage through our tummy muscles. From here, then we're going to lift our head, neck and shoulders, really leading from the breastbone, not leading with the chin. And then you start to pulse your arms up and down. And then for our hundreds, you're going to breathe in for five seconds and breathe out for five seconds. And then you can repeat that until you get 100 pulses 
of your arms up and down. 